Hello. So today we will discuss the synthesis of chloramphenicol. So basically, chloramphenicol is a special purpose antibiotics. So let's see its synthesis. So first, the starting material or the reactants for this is benzaldehyde and 2-nitroethanol. So here that benzaldehyde and 2-nitroethanol undergoes base catalyzed condensation. So as it is a base catalyzed, so in presence of base, base will accept the proton. So this CH2 that will become CH minus and it is expected that it will attack on this way on the carbonyl carbon. And after this attack, it is expected to get the aldol product. So here you can see if I will split up the structure. So this first part is coming from the benzaldehyde and the remaining part is coming from the second reactant that is 2-nitroethanol. So that is the aldol product. Now this aldol product undergoes reduction. So as it is NO2 is present, so reduction means either addition of hydrogen or the removal of oxygen. So simply NO2 is converted into NH2. So as there are two alcohol, so that is di, all and amino. So there is a reduction of this nitro or the aldol product into this amino diol. Next comes the acylation reaction. So that acetylation is carried out in presence of the dichloroacetyl chloride. And this is the representative structure for the same. So when this amino diol attacks on this carbonyl carbon, so as Cl chlorine is a good living group, so that will get eliminated. So here we are getting the addition product. So you can compare. So this part, this portion is coming from dichloroacetyl chloride and the remaining portion is nothing but our aminodiol. So this is the acylation where we are protecting the NH2 or the amino group. Next comes the acylation in presence of acetic anhydride. So here whatever hydroxy group is present, so here specific acetylation moiety will be there or acetyl moiety will get added here. And what is the source? It is coming from the acetic anhydride. So in this structure, we are going to acylate, we are going to protect the alcohol moiety. Next comes the nitration. Now here we have protected OH and NH2 by the acylated moiety. So now it's a very straightforward reaction that whatever the upcoming electrophile that will acquire the nitro position at the para position. So, so that nitro upcoming electrophile will acquire at the fourth position that is para position. So after nitration, we are getting this structure. And at last, in presence of base, so this looks like a ester O, C double bond O, CH3. So in presence of base, that will undergo hydrolysis. So there is a breakage of this bond. So this acyl moiety will get eliminated. And here again, we are getting our hydroxy group back. So that is nothing but the structure of chloramphenicol. So overall, uh, the reaction of the, or we can say the synthesis of chloramphenicol involves the reaction between benzaldehyde and 2-nitroethanol, which will undergo base catalyzed condensation. So we are getting the aldol product. Aldol product consists of nitro. So nitro undergoes reduction and convert it into NH2. NH2 then that will be reacted with the dichloroacetyl chloride, that is simple acylation reaction, followed by acylation of this hydroxy group. So both NH and OH has been protected by the acyl moiety and then there is a straightforward nitration reaction so nitro group will take at the para position and ultimately with the loss of or the hydrolysis of ester we are getting the chloramphenicol as our target moiety thank you